Hello, doers. My name is Jose Ignacio, and I caught you on the side camera today. Anyways, welcome back. Today, we're going to be taking a look at how to merge manufacturing orders, or MOs. You see, it's pretty common for manufacturers to have multiple MOs for the same product at the same time. Sometimes it's useful to process MOs separately, even when they contain the same products. However, it can also be helpful to manufacture the products in two different MOs at the same time. For example, maybe an MO was created for a lower quantity of a product than what you actually needed. In that case, another MO had to be created as well. So inside of Odoo, the manufacturing app allows us to combine those two MOs into a single MO so that the manufacturing of the products within them can happen simultaneously. That's pretty cool, right? I knew you'd think so. All right, enough lollygagging, chit chat, everything. Let's jump into our Odoo database just to see all the nuts and bolts of merging manufacturing orders. All right, first thing we need to do is create a couple of manufacturing orders. Why, you might ask? Well, we can't merge MOs if we don't have any. That would be like merging nothing with nothing, which would leave us with, my calculations are correct, nothing as well. And we don't want that, oh, doers. So let's go make some right now. So let's go make two MOs inside of the manufacturing app, going to operations and manufacturing orders and select new. And the product that we're gonna be making is two of them for the chair product. So let's start off with our very first one right here. Now we're only gonna be using two MOs for this example, but Odoo allows you to combine any number of MOs. The only limitation is that each MO must contain the same product and must be inside of the same state. For example, it's not possible to merge one MO created for a table and another one created for a chair. So we're already inside of here and let's get started. Now for our product field, again, it's the chair and doing so, as you could tell, already auto-populated our bill of materials over here with the associated different products as well inside of our components tab. Now up next, speaking of quantity, we want to change this up here. I want five units to produce. And finally, all I need to do is click confirm to confirm this MO. Now at the top of the confirmed MO, as you can tell, we also have a reference number. And this reference number is something that you're gonna to need to remember as you're gonna see why later. Now I could use this exact same workflow to create a second MO. However, to save time, I'm going to click on the actions, which is right over here next to that little thing. And you guessed it, we're gonna select duplicate. Once we do that, creates an identical MO for the same quantity of the chair product. The only difference is that the reference number has increased by one. It's this big one, and it's also the small one up there at the top. I realized I forgot to show that. Small O-Doopsie. And this indicates that this is a different MO than the first one. Now, before we move on, again, select that purple confirm button, and we're all set. Now, this is because duplicate MOs are always created inside of the draft state, and MOs can only be merged if they are in the same state, as I stated before. So once you confirm it, they're both inside of the same state as the first one. Perfect. Time to move on. All right, so with both MOs created and confirmed, we're ready to merge them together. So to do so, I actually need to navigate back to the Manufacturing Orders page. We can do so by selecting Operations in the top header, Manufacturing Orders. Now down here at the bottom, we're going to find the ones that we actually, well, they start today. And it is the ones ending in 52 and 53 respectively. I'm going to tick the checkboxes next to each one of these. We're going to go up to the top center and find that little gear button that says Actions, and we're going to select Merge. So once that we did that, the two MOs were combined into a single MO, and we were taken directly to the page of that newly merged MO. As you can see, the MO has been given a brand new reference number of 54, well, ending in 54 on each of these. And also, as you can see, the quantity field over here for each one of these to consume lists both of them added together, 10 units which makes sense since the two MOs were merged and they were each five units. And finally, let's return to the manufacturing orders page, operations, manufacturing orders over here. And would you look at that? We can see that both of the MOs that were merged have disappeared. And only the chair MO is listed now as a singular one for 10 units. And you can also see right now, if we look over here at the source, additionally, we can actually see the original manufacturing orders that were merged to create it. All right. That's it for today. Thanks for sticking around, folks. I'm sure you're glad you did, because now you know how to combine manufacturing orders like an absolute pro. See you next time. Go grab a snack. Lay. Sponsor me.